Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Going Deeper, uh, our series of talks where uh, each week I connect with uh, members of our church and, and we talk about just, you know, the application, how, how we can apply the Sunday message uh, in our lives, how we can live it out in our day-to-day -day living. And uh, today with me is Tao. Tao, I have no idea how to pronounce your last name. <laughs> What would be the correct <laughs> way? Okay, uh, my name is Tao Ngangoleva, but in short, everyone calls me Tao. Uh, I'm an international student at Vilnius University. I'm originally from Malawi. I'm currently in year two. I'm studying management. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, Tao. And, you know, we're so excited to have you in the church. And, mm. and uh, you know, you were part of the live group that... Uh, my wife and I were leading for some time, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. we always enjoyed your smile and your laughter, and uh, and just really deep insights. So I'm really excited to have you today, and uh, so I let's <laughs> let's let's dive in. Um, so last Sunday we had Pastor uh, Kevin from Kenosha Journey Church uh, mm -hmm. speak to us about contentment in God mm -hmm. and, and what mm -hmm. that looks like and uh, what also is a holy maybe discontentment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, could you share a little bit about uh, your highlights? What's, uh, you know, what stood out for you uh, last Sunday? Yeah, uh, I really enjoyed the message on Sunday. It was speaking to my season. That's why I was like, oh, I think I should, I should be on going deeper this week because I really, I don't know. There are sometimes the message is just for you, and I felt like, wow, this message is really speaking to me right now. And uh, what what he emphasized one was that uh, godliness with contentment is great gain. So it it was a reminder that where does our contentment come from is it coming from things or are we satisfied in god and also he reminded us how the first commandment and the last one they are the same the first one says that we should not not, not have other gods uh, but the lord and the last one was we should not covet which he said like it's virtually the same thing when we when we put God first, we're not going to covet others. But the opposite of uh, contentment is covetousness, which is looking at what other people have and feeling discontented, meaning that we are not satisfied in God. So that really stood out for me because there's sometimes when you wish that you had what other people have and you stop focusing on what you have. So the more you are discontent, the less you are grateful. Like you don't see how blessed you are. You begin to see what you don't have but you, like he said we we are really blessed majority of us we have mm -hmm. more than our basic needs like the bible says if we have food and shelter we should be grateful like we should we should be content but we have more than that we have internet we have friends we have family we have so many blessings so and he reminded us that our contentment comes from god like we should be content with who we are where we are what we have and with knowing the truth. So like one of the ways that we can know the truth, for example, God says that we are his beloved, like we are bought in the, with the precious blood of Jesus. We have value in God. So sometimes you can feel like, okay, maybe you don't have a job, you are not valuable. Like society can label you as unemployed or something, but to God, you have value. And also sometimes you may not be content with your weight, maybe you think like you should be a heavier or you should be slimmer or something, but you have to remember that God calls you precious, like you are the apple of his eye. So like knowing the truth helps you to be content with where you are at. Like even when you are going to the gym, exercising, dieting and all that, you can still be content right now in the body that you are in right now. So yeah. That's <laughs> really good, there. good stuff. Mm. Um, yeah. How uh, are you excited about this uh, whole series of, uh, from from Timothy that we're doing at the church? Yes, yes, it's really good. So it's always good to go back to the foundations because it's the foundations that help us to be rooted and grounded. Like being reminded about contentment, being reminded about prayer, like mm -hmm. stoking the fire. So sometimes it's so easy to lose the fire, to lose the passion, but 
being reminded of it, it helps us to get back to where we are meant to be because sometimes we can stop growing. So we have to reevaluate the roots. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. For those watching, you know, if this is your first time uh, watching Going Deeper, uh, we are a church, Journey Church in Vilnius, Lithuania. And uh, we are doing a series of sermons at the church at the moment. It's called Stoke the Fire, and it's based on the first and second letter uh, to Timothy. Uh, and so we're reading it together as a church. Uh, if you have mm -hmm. a Bible app, uh, you version Bible app, uh, find us there, uh, become friends with us there with Journey Vilnius account and uh, join us together as we read that uh, plan together uh, through the first and the second letter to Timothy. Um, it's an exciting series and it's all about discipleship. It's all about, um, mm. you know, standing up for the truth and living out the truth. And uh, Pastor PK, you know, he, he really spoke um, about contentment so well. And, and thank you, Tao, so much for sharing your thoughts on that. Yeah. You also mentioned mm -hmm. something about uh, discontentment, you know, that sometimes yeah. it's okay to be discontent with some things. Um, yes. How, how do you understand that? What are those things? Um, like being discontent with good things, like when we see that something is not right, wanting to make a difference, like maybe we see that other people are being oppressed, like standing up, uh, to bullies like uh, also like being discontent with our work like wanting to grow more like to know to know God more to to pray more like yes maybe to save more to evangel to, to evangelize more so it's okay to be discontent in the good things like wanting to do better so like not being complacent like wanting to do better is okay yeah yeah absolutely and I think, you know, we should never stagnate, you know, in terms of our development, in terms of our growth, in terms of us becoming more and more like Jesus. There will always be something that we need to learn more um, to, 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 yeah, grow in Christ-likeness, to grow in godliness. And so we shouldn't be content with just, um, you know, just simply with our own condition as we are. Right, mm. so we should be grateful for where we are at, but we should mm. always strive to become more and more like Jesus. Mm. Um, so Definitely. there's that that balance of contentment and discontentment, I suppose. Mm. Um, thank you so much, Tao, for sharing your thoughts. <laughs> this is so cool. Um, yeah. I'm really uh, happy to see you every Sunday, and. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I, I hope that uh, you continue to grow in faith, that you continue to uh, serve Jesus, you know, and um, would you pray with us? Would you close uh, this yeah. session just uh, really briefly that all of us who are watching, no matter where we are, that uh, yeah. we find our contentment in God. Amen. Uh, thank you for having me. Okay, let us pray. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you because you love us so much that you gave us the only Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. And not only that, you also gave us the Holy Spirit to be our comforter, to be our guide, to be our strength, to be our helper in everything. So God, we ask you to help us to be content. There's so many things that can make us discontent in this life when we look at other people, what they have, what they're doing. But help us to be content. May we find our identity in you. May we find our value in you. And may we remember that this life is about you. It's about living for your glory and serving others so help us be content in the season that we are in with the people that we have and in whatsoever we are going through may we find joy in that season and may we be grateful for everything that we have in jesus name we pray amen 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 uh thank you so much Tom. Uh, thank you thanks everyone for <laughs> tuning in and we can't wait to see you next wednesday and if you are in uh, in Lithuania, if you are in Vilnius, uh, join us. Come to mm. our service. We meet at Nogarduko 97 in Vilnius. Um, in 
the old town near the old town and uh, also you know if you uh, for some reason cannot be present in person uh, you can always of course tune in uh, into our live broadcast and watch our services either on YouTube or on Facebook uh, we will be so happy to see you. And if you are watching it online on Sundays, uh, please, you know, message, send us some sort of a message uh, in the comment section. We are always happy to see you there. And uh, God bless. See you next week. And see you. Bye.